The United States is really big. From covered wagons and steam engines to trains and trams, the question of how to get from point A to point B has always inspired American ingenuity. In the 20th century, the automobile became not only one of the greatest symbols of that ingenuity, but also a matter of individual pride and personality. Here at the museum, we actually have an entire exhibit devoted to telling the story of American transportation. And today we're going to look at what I think is one of the coolest chapters of that story. Roger White, who is an associate curator for road transportation in the Division of Work and Industry. And Roger has a pretty cool job because one of the things that Roger gets to play with is a 1964 Mustang. So Roger, what can you tell us about this really beautiful car? Well, the Ford Mustang was the first mass-produced sports car, and it came into existence in the mid-60s because the market for cars was changing. The baby boomers were growing up and more families were buying a second car and the Mustang was often the car that they bought. Okay. And more young couples were starting uh, their marriages and their families and they were buying them and single people were buying them. So a lot of reasons why it caught on. This particular car is from the first year of production, 1964. And the big change was there, there had never had been a mass production, mass market sports car. The, the, you know, within two years they had sold a million of these Mustangs. So, I mean, this was a big deal, and it, it caught on very quickly. So, Mustang is obviously a pretty iconic American image, the wild mm -hmm. ponies of the West. This is obviously evoking a lot of particular feelings for Americans who understand that. Mm -hmm. But were there other names that were considered? Yes. Uh, during the four-year development of the Mustang in the early 60s, the mm -hmm. um, working name was the Allegro, the and Allegro. later the Cougar, which, of course, is also an animal. That, so, you can yeah, see they were drifting toward the animal names already. I think there's a very deep psychology to the horse connection with this car and I think it just simply goes back to the 1910s when cars replaced horses for the first time and it's that mentality the Ford was trying to draw out again and make everyone think that driving was this completely unfettered free experience where you're going to just roam the wilds everywhere even when you're stuck in traffic uh, it, it's the way you think about driving that changed yeah. Well, when this object was originally unveiled mm -hmm. on our floor, I kept thinking it was going to be red. That was just the mind frame. Um, and then, of course, it opens up and it's this beautiful blue color. So how many other colors did it come in? The 65 Ford Mustang came in 22 colors. And the, uh, the Ford trade name for this one is Silver Blue. Silver and it kind of has it's this light blue with a little bit of a silver metallic look to it. Uh, there are many, many options. That was part of the secret of Ford's marketing ideas in 1965. Mm -hmm. The Mustang represented a change in the way people thought about driving. That suddenly driving could be fun. Even if you were stuck in traffic, you know, you're in your sports car having a good time. You're in your I Mustang, mean, this, you're this is a, yeah. happy. And your Mustang <laughs> is not identical to everyone else's Mustang, so it's personalized. Right. It's my car. So how much would this have cost? These cars cost in like the mid 2000, like 2300, 2500 with options. Right. Now those were in 1964 dollars, right, but that is not but still that was pretty sadly, that was pretty affordable. Yeah, you know. yeah. And I learned to drive in one of these. It was a 66, really? 66 Mustang. It was uh, white with a black interior, and it was a hard top like this. It, it was a fun car to drive, and that was my first set of wheels. Uh, but it, it was the feeling that it gave you while you were driving. Yeah. That's and what, I mean, you can really even just get that feeling looking at the car. You didn't even, yeah. don't even have to be in it to get this kind of it, thrilled feeling. It's way cool. It's, it is way it's, cool. It's a, it's a great way to own a sports car without shelling out big bucks. I would take this everywhere. <laughs> I would, not, I would with, live in this isn't car. It, isn't it like your companion? I mean, that's the feeling yeah. that, that I get. And maybe it's because I grew up with Mustangs, but to come... Combine the styling, the bucket seat interior, um, the, it's fun to drive, it, it looks it's great, cool. it, makes, it's, it makes you look great when you're in it, yeah. it's personalized. I mean, who could ask for a better companion yeah. than, than this car? That is for and, sure. Uh, so is there anything else we should know? Yes, it's awesome. It's, it's an awesome <laughs> car. <laughs> if there was one word, awesome. um, this little car, besides being sporty and inexpensive and practical and fun to drive and makes you feel good, it's a work of art. It's a little piece of sculpture which somehow gives us uh, image of motion. It simulates motion somehow, even when it's standing still. Well, this has certainly been one of the most beautiful objects we've done so far. I think anyone can agree to that one. So thank you very much for joining us today and sharing some information about it. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us once again. Hope to see you back next time. <laughs>